Hello YouTube! Welcome to episode 8 in my Digital Aquarium Controller series. Today we're going to look at my custom Moonlight and using the 74HC595 shift register. The Moonlight itself is made of 32 20 milliamp LEDs arranged in 7 vertical bands. Every 2 or 3 LEDs in a band there is an NPN transistor and a resistor allowing them to be switched on or off. Seven of the eight output pins on the 74HC595 are used to activate the transistors in these bands. This was wired up on plywood and then encased in resin. My wife etched a picture of the moon onto frosted glass and then it was all mounted into a wooden enclosure. She did a great job. It looks like the moon to me. Okay, let's look at the 74HC595. This is a great general purpose latching shift register to use in many Adreno projects. A shift register allows you to convert a serial input into a parallel output, or in other terms, you can turn the pins on and off with a basic serial input pin and a clock pulse. The latching means you can latch the output in place once you have sent it the data. You do not need to send it constant updates. Looking at the data sheet, you can see this is a 16 pin IC. For this application, I give it 5 volts to VCC and ground to ground. Then the OE is tied to ground to activate, and SRCLR is tied high to keep it inactive. SRCLK is the latch signal, RCLK is the clock pulse, and SER is the serial pin. These go out to the Adreno. QA through QH are the output pins, so these drive the LEDs. If you need more than one byte or eight pins, you can tie multiple 74HC595s together by pu putting the QH prime, which is pin 9 on the chip, out to the serial input of the next chip and then tying the latch and clock pins together. Using this with the Adreno is simple. This is a small test sketch on the Uno. I connect the clock, latch, and serial pins to 8, 9, and 10 respectively and define them at the top. Remember that each output pin represents a binary bit. So in decimal, output A is 1, B is 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, etc. 3 is A and B, 7 is A, B, C. You get the idea. So I set an array to sequence the values I want to represent the different lunar phases to make the light or shadow pass the seven bands of LEDs appropriately. In setup, I set my pins to digital output and I set the latch pin to low to prevent updates. Then I loop through the 28 settings in my array. To update the 74HC595, I confirm the latch is low. I use the built-in shift out command to send data to the shift register. This uses the clock pin and data pin to send the correct binary sequence out to the register. Once the data is sent, pulse the latch pin high to update the output with the new data. Then I pause for a second before repeating. My main controller code on the Mega is similar. I use pins 46, 47, and 48 in the same array. I have a variable called moon phase that holds the correct phase for the day. And I increment this one step every day by calling the change moon phase function at midnight. The activate the moon function is called either by the light control routine or through serial input. It either turns on the light by pushing out the current moon phase, or it turns it off by setting the register to zero. It also sends out a status with any change to the serials for data logging. Here it is in action on my main system. I can set the moon phase and turn it on and off by setting it to the proper serial A1 command. This will be sent from the Pi in the future, allowing for web-based control and calibration. And that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed this and found it useful. If you did, please click like and subscribe to see more. Until next time, thanks for watching.